My name is Brian and welcome to Rent's Best Garage. Today we're back on the Ultima Ford Bentside Cummins and we're going to be finishing up the body mounts. So hang tight, let's get after it. These are the cab mounts off the 99 F450 frame that we're going to make work on the 79 dead side cab. Before I mount the cab mounts to the frame, I want to weld this washer to the bottom of the cab just to kind of tighten the hole up a little bit. The dent side originally came with a little bit bigger hole, a little bit bigger bolt. So we're just going to weld this on the bottom of the cab to kind of tighten things up a little bit. This is the cab mount for the 79 crew cab dent side and this is the washer I want to weld on the bottom of there. You can see the difference in the hole. It's just going to tighten it up just a little bit. I'm going to weld it on just like that. It really not necessary, but just helps out a little bit. I don't know if there's anything worse than welding underneath something. Oh, something sizzling in there. You hear that? Yeah. I just thought it was like the welder or something. <laughs> Got that washer welded on there. Now we're gonna bolt the mount on there and kind of trying to figure out how it's gonna to weld to the frame. As you can see, there's a pretty big gap between the cab mount and the frame. So what we need to do is figure out how to fill in that gap. And there's not a lot to weld onto here. So I wanna extend into the frame and then down on the frame. So we got a lot more to weld onto and that should hold it pretty good. The reason I cut that off, this is actually the old or the rear cab mounts here that was extra. So I cut a piece of that off and I'm gonna use it to extend the front mounts so it actually reaches the frame now. And so it takes care of a couple problems. It's gonna give me a lot more to weld onto to the frame. It kind of extends it down here. Yeah, it extends it down and extends it that way. So we're gonna set this on there and see how it fits. So I might have to cut that Probably gonna cut this in the middle and then cut maybe a quarter of an inch out of it and then weld the middle back in and that way it'll fit snug on both sides and make a nice weld. Something like that. All right. Except they cut too much out of it. But I can fill that in. Just some thoughts on projects. Three things basically you need for a project is time, money, and talent. If you got enough money, you don't need as much time and talent. If you got a lot of time, you can develop the talents. But you usually gotta have all three. I think a lot of people get into these projects and get a little frustrated, but I almost guarantee you one thing, if you get into these projects, you're gonna learn something. Maybe you'll learn that you'll never want to do one again. Maybe you'll develop a whole lot of skills that you never had before. So either way, it's kind of cool just to dive in and see what you can accomplish. Let us know in the comments what you guys are working on. I'd love to see, love to hear about it. So yeah, drop a line down below. Let's see what you're working on. We're gonna double check and make sure that it, the cab is still centered on the frame before we go to weld and anything in there. So we're gonna make some measurements, just make sure it's at least close. Okay, so we're basically three and three quarters there. We're gonna call that three and three quarters. I'm just trying to find two points I can measure from, from the frame over to the body. 
trying to make sure I'm square right there. That's really close to four inches. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, that's saying basically three and a half. So I need to go driver's side a quarter of an inch. Let's see what we can finagle here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the rear mounts just so hopefully the cab will slide over a quarter of an inch. That's all I need is quarter of an inch. Just a little loose. That was more wasp nest. Whoa, crazy, right? Oh, that might have been too far. Let's see what we got now. How do I hold the thing for the thing to work? So we still should be good. Let's see what the other side says. That's closer. That says three and three quarters. So I think we're good there. Is that what you want? We got it within an eighth of an inch from side to side, so it should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and weld, see how she goes. Yep. Okay, so that's how it turned out. We're gonna try to form these better to fit them out so I can get better welds in here. We're gonna fully weld these and it should be good to go. It's kind of what it's looking like. Oh, Not my best wheels, not my worst wheels, but I guarantee you that thing ain't going nowhere. We got the cab mounts done and tacked in. The reason I tack them in is because just in case I got to move it just a little bit, I don't want to fully weld them until I get everything where I want it and I'm happy with it. So now we're going to move on to the front end, the front fenders, try to get them all aligned and then try to figure out the front radiator support mounts and go from there. You can see this gap here and this gap here, the difference between this body line, this body seam and this body seam or line. So that fender's gotta go up. So I wanna make sure that's all good and correct. And then I also gotta make sure that the fender's not diving down or diving up. So we're gonna string a line from front to back and make sure the truck is somewhat aligned front to back. And then when we set them out, so they should be right or at least close. There is adjustment on these fenders. 
um, but you still got to get the mounts and everything right or you'll never be able to adjust the fenders. And also, if you don't, if you get the front clip out of square, your hood's not going to look right because your hood's going to be perfectly square, but your front clip might be left or right. It's not as simple as just bolt it on, it's where it should be. It never is, but especially when you're putting a 79 body on a 99 chassis. Hmm. Gotcha. So. Okay, so holding up the fender. Right here, I need you to make this guy disappear, so I need you to hold that up. Um, I can't get it all the way up. Uh, I think it's hitting like a thing right there, so just hold it up as high as you can. I'm trying, I swear. It's not working out. You know, shut the door, it'll probably smash my fingers. I don't know what's happening, but it's not tightening up like it should. Oh, something weird's going on. It's like, is there not a bolt there? Did the bolt go through? Oh dear. <laughs> what? I think the bolt just went through. Something weird happened, we gotta pull this fender off. Hold it right, you gotta go down just a little bit. Hold it right there. Push it in. Down. It needs to go towards me and up. Towards you. Fender's got to go back because I'm not, unless either A, the apron needs to go back or just the whole fender. Tell us what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but you're really too close to my face. <laughs> we got the fender sitting where we need to, well, kind of sitting where we need to sit. So now we're going to run a stream from front to back and see what really needs to happen for this fender and the rest of the truck. It's actually not too bad. I think it's sagging down in the middle, but I think that might just be the string. And I can't pull it tighter because it just kind of rips the magnets off, but I think we're pretty good. So we'll adjust that fender a little bit better. I don't hate it. It's not perfect, but let's smooth this fender back a little bit. So, this crack you want to close this in right here yeah but see it's a little tricky because it can't be too close or the door won't open and shut so there needs to be some space but not too much yeah gotcha so it basically we need to come off of this line it needs that much space so i will loosen up some bolts we'll push it back and then we'll see what it looks like Back is in back towards me and then up a little bit so we towards you so we're and fixing up. that gap. Will it come back at all? We need to lose some more bolts. No. Now now we're right against the How's that look? About half inch off the way on the way. That is not bad. I think that looks pretty good. It seems like in the middle it's still sagging. There's a little bit more gap here than say up here. Yeah, there is more of a gap. Well, we're dealing with about six different gaps and heights. Nothing's perfect. Yeah. But that's pretty, for what this truck is, it's pretty damn good. This chassis on this truck is a 99F450, and the thing I like about that is it still has leaf springs all the way around and a solid front axle. Ford was the only one that did that, and they did it clear up to like 06, and then they went to a coil spring front end. There's nothing wrong with the coil spring front ends. They still have solid axle front axles, but I just like the simplicity of the leaf springs. They hold up better. They're cheaper to replace. 
and they're pretty much bulletproof and easy to modify. So that's kind of my spiel on why I like the Super Duties from 99 to, well, 99 to 02 because they got the 7.3s. But anyway, that's a whole other conversation. So anyway, that's why I like Super Duties. I think the right size. That one is. Yay! I think we're gonna have to raise this up a little bit. Let's get this up. Whoa! We are trying to get this right front fender adjusted and we got this pile of goop right here, which I think is uh, seam, seam filler. So we gotta scrape that out of there so we can get the fender to raise up just a little bit more. I don't know how that flew from factory or whatever, but we're gonna fix it real quick. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna run the string on the passenger side and see how that looks. What even is that from? That's the thing from the A team back in the 80s. Old. 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 Well, this one's gonna be hard to tell. I think that fender. I think from like here to here, it's it's really good. Cab's a little wavy. The bed looks good. A few videos back, we talked about the frame being a little bit crooked, a little cattywampus. It's a little higher on this side than this side. And now that we're starting to put the front clip together, you can see, I mean, it's not a lot. So it's sitting on these blocks here and it's not really touching these blocks here. I mean, it's half quarter an inch difference. But uh, we're just going to compensate a little bit with the mounts because we've got to build the mounts anyway. And yeah, it should be fine. But just something I'm trying to keep in mind as I'm going and make it as right as we can. Are we going on top of the hinge things? I don't know if we're strong enough for yeah, this. You're fine. I'll stay there. Make a few adjustments on this latch so it shuts proper. See how it's like tilting this way? So I gotta loosen this bolt and this bolt, move that over, and then maybe it'll shut. But I'm probably gonna have to still adjust those hinges. I don't know why it's like catching on the hood over on that side. This side's shutting a little better than this side. It's just a lot going on. This is, this is body alignment, dude. It takes forever. But you gotta make sure it's right before you perfectly weld your mounts in or because when you get it painted and you put it back together and nothing fits, you're gonna be sad. Maybe the thing to do is just take that off for right now. I don't know what it's clipping on because the hood latch is out. <laughs> it felt like it clipped on something. <laughs> probably something it shouldn't have. Yeah, I'll probably never get it open now. Okay, let's look at it. I mean, it's not perfect, but we really lucked out. This side actually looks, it needs to go down just a little bit and it can't really. And this side's still up. It can go down. Okay, what's it holding on? It opened. Yay. Got a gap right on this side. So this side. That we don't have on this side. 
What we got going on now is these hinges are completely worn out and kind of breaking. Like if you can see from here to here, it's just not right. I think that piece right, that crack right there is not supposed to be there. And it's actually pushing the hinge this way. So when you shut the hood, if you can come around right here, you can see right here in the hood where the hinge and the hinge spring is hitting on the side of the hood and it's causing us all kinds of grief. And this side is the exact same way. So we need to figure out a different set of hood hinges or something along those lines. I'm just gonna throw a tape on this and see what the tape measure says as far as square. See how far to whack we are. We're about 70 inches that way. All right, according to the tape measure, we're out quite a ways. It needs to go, that still needs to go that way. I'm looking at these fender aprons and this one's sitting back further. So that might be part of the problem. So maybe I'll relax those bolts and let this come forward just a little bit. Cause I really don't want that fender apron rubbing on the back or the front of the cab. And then after that, see if we can square it up a little bit better. But um, yeah, we're getting there. We probably might have been the smart thing to do is just put this hood in on without the hinges and just make sure it kind of set and look kind of square. But I think we know that we're out of square a little bit. So we gotta make sure that we gotta fix that. Where is my tape measure? We got the front end kind of squared away. It's not, it's far from perfect, but it's kind of close enough. We can start building the mounts. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take some 3 16 by two inch. And we're basically going to make an L shape. That's going to go to the 99 super duty frame. And then it'll go up and it'll attach to the radiator support of the 79 crew cab. And we'll drill a hole for the mount and we'll weld it to the radiator support. And then we'll just make some gussets that come down. It should be a fairly simple deal, but uh, yeah, we'll get started on it. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm gonna need the whole set. We got a little 316. This is the radiator support mount that we figured out. Um, still a little cutting and trimming to do on it, and, but that's the gist of it. And the other side is going to be identical, so I won't bore you with that. But uh, that's about all we're going to get done today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. No.